Hey guys, um, just going live here for a minute, uh, while well, I have a few minutes. So, my mom brought something to my attention a couple weeks ago, and, um, our little, uh, like, group that we have talk, that talks theology and stuff, um, on Sundays, we have been very, um, interested in learning about different songs and different, um, things that we listen to and things that we say and just really testing them back to um, the Word of God and knowing if they really align with Scripture or if it's just something that we say because we're kind of told to say it or um, we're, ta we're taught it or it's emotional and so it sounds good. And so anyways, my mom brought this to my attention one day. She texted me and I don't remember exactly how she said it, but she said, you know, what's that song? And this is not to like bash anybody or anything. It's just to get you guys and myself to think about the things that we sing and the things that we say and if they are really accurate and if we should be saying them um, or if we just say them because they sound good. So anyways, she said, what's that song that talks about um, our God has resurrected me, da, 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 And I said, oh, that's resurrecting by elevation. And she said, okay, well, I'm just kind of okay, a little bit, I've just noticed something about the song that I never noticed before. And she said, it says that God robbed the grave and that's not right. And so I thought about it for a minute and like, that's the most like emotional part of the song, right? Like we get so pumped up whenever it like builds up to that. And we like, we like declare that our God has robbed the grave because that's where we have this emotion on, we were set free because Jesus came out of the grave, right? Well, the problem with that is, is that's worshiping God for a characteristic that is not God. God is not a robber. He's not a thief. And I get the point of what they're trying to say in the song. Um, but because right before that, they say um, the it was borrowed for three days, which is more accurate because a thief doesn't rob or steal something that is theirs. If it's yours, then you're taking back what is yours. You're taking ownership back up. So a thief is something or someone who takes something that is not theirs. Jesus handed over, let Satan borrow. He let Satan have some power. And ultimately, God is sovereign even over what Satan does and over um, I'm talking about resurrecting by elevation, Olivia, specifically the part that says our God has robbed the grave. Um, but so God can't be a robber because he is holy. He's perfect. And that would mean that God is a sinner. God, God, Jesus sinned by robbing the grave. And so we just need to be careful how we come to God in worship and say these things without ever really thinking about what we're saying. Um, I don't think that God probably gets too much excitement out of us declaring that he's a robber or a thief and that he steals. He, he didn't steal anything. He took back what was already his. He took ownership back over something that he willingly gave over some of his power. So... Satan is the one who is the thief. He's the one who comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Um, I looked up just because I was curious, you know, a little bit more about, does the Bible ever say anything about God being a thief? I mean, I just, I don't know. I could be wrong about this. I could just be like, oh, that sounds, now that I hear it this way, that sounds right. So I looked it up, and the only times it talks about God you know, the Lord as a thief is talking about when he's going to come back. He's going to surprise us like a thief in the night. Not as he's actually stealing anything or that he's a thief in any other way than, you know, um, let me see. One of the verses is, um, I mean, Jesus even condemns in Mark. It says Mark, Mark 14, 48. And Jesus said to them, have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as you would against a robber? So he's offended that they're coming out as if he is a robber, you know, he's not, that's not an attribute of God. And so it's, it's incorrect. It's a heresy. If you want to get all with your Christian terms to call God a robber, 
like I said, I get their point in the song. I'm not bashing them. The whole song is a great song. Even the fact saying the tomb was borrowed for three days, you know, that's fine. But that one word, that one word, calling God a robber, and that's the very part of the song that, and I'm 100% guilty of this. That is the very part of the song that we just like really get into and we literally, we just like pour it out to God. We're like, yeah, you robbed the grave. And I just feel like God's up there thinking, I didn't rob anything. I'm not a thief. I took back what is rightfully mine and I have sovereignty over the enemy and over everything that he plans on doing. I am sovereign and I am not a robber. So anyways, that's just a short little thing that we've been kind of talking about and um, I'd like to hear different opinions on it if you think differently or if you're able to like justify calling God a robber. That's honestly why I posted the question yesterday, which pretty much almost nobody answered, um, which is fine. But uh, I just think it's interesting how, not just with that song, but there's other songs, I'm sure, um, that are speaking and we believe that we're like worshiping God too. But if we really understood God, um, if we really understood his attributes and not um, got caught up in the emotion of a song, or got caught up in how it makes us feel, we would realize that a lot of the things that we do that we think are worship for God are really not. Um, and so there's an, just something to encourage you when you're listening to songs on the radio or when you're listening at church or whatever, just check, I'll pull a John Chris, check your heart and make sure that, you know, the things that you're saying really are true of God, that, that, the emotions you're feeling when you're singing certain words really line up with what the word says who God is and um, I've said this before in a couple of videos but like Jesus is who got us back to God so don't ever forget who Jesus is but also don't forget that the point of Jesus was to bring us back to the Father so everything comes back to the Father and Jesus brought us back to him. Jesus didn't rob the grave. Jesus isn't a thief. Jesus took back what was rightfully his. Um, and so I would just challenge you, even whenever you're singing this song, just replace that word. Our God escaped the grave. Our God conquered the grave. Our God took back the grave, you know? It's a simple thing. You don't have to make it like self-righteous or whatever. And I hope that I'm not coming off that way. Like I said, if you can justify it or show me somewhere in scripture where you believe that, you know, it's justified to call God a robber. And I'm not saying that arrogantly either. Show me. Like, that's why I started looking up verses to see, is there somewhere in there? And it does talk about being a thief. And Jesus references being a robber, but not in that context. And so, anyways, um, if there is somewhere that I'm just not seeing, because I honestly hit Google, um, please share it with me. And share it in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I have to say. Love you guys. And go read my blog. Please. See ya. Love you.